Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into an important topic. How to apply for graduate positions, and improve your chances of success. Whether you're a new graduate, or looking to further your education, these tips will help you stand out from the crowd. Let's get started. Tip 1. Apply only for positions for which you are qualified. First things first. Apply only for positions for which you are qualified. Ensure you meet the qualifications listed in the job advertisement. Applying for positions where you don't meet the requirements wastes both your time and the time of the hiring committee. It's crucial to be honest with yourself about your qualifications. Tip 2. Read the advertisement carefully. Next, always read the advertisement carefully. Thoroughly go through the job ad and make sure you submit all required documents. Missing documents or failing to follow instructions can lead to your application being immediately disregarded. Tip 3. Address required experience and skills. If the advertisement mentions specific experiences or skills, make sure to elaborate on these in your cover letter. Demonstrating that you have the required skills shows that you're a careful reader and meet the job's criteria. This is your chance to directly align your experiences with what the lab is looking for. Tip 4. Pay attention to writing quality. Good writing skills are crucial in all fields of science. The Principal Investigator, or PI, will assess your writing through your cover letter and email. Spelling, grammar and formatting mistakes are unacceptable. Even if you are still developing as a writer, ensure your documents are polished and professional. Common writing errors are common red flags, and it shows you aren't ready for graduate studies. Recall graduate study applications aren't limited to your country of origin alone. You would be competing with graduate students from well-populated countries like India, China, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Brazil and Nigeria amidst some other well-populated countries not mentioned here. You need to put your best foot forward from the start. Tip 5. Highlight how you can benefit the lab. While it's important to express your motivation, your cover letter should focus on how your skills, experience and attitude will benefit the lab. Clearly articulate what you can bring to the team rather than just why you want the position. This approach shows that you're thinking about the lab's needs, not just your own. What different idea, aside from the present ongoing research, would you be bringing on to help the principal investigator with his research? How would you help the lab solve its challenges? What skill set do you have that can best come into play? Remember, you can get a fully funded offer from your prospective supervisor but it won't come a la carte. No professor would want to fund you or pay you stipends without getting value in return. Value here means valued impact on the ongoing research. You just need to distinguish yourself amongst several others. If you have a skill set in programming like Python or R, how can this help the lab? What have you done in the past with this skill set? Showcase this and discuss further with the prospective lab supervisor. As a valued tip, I will advise you showcase your portfolio, jobs you have done in the past, using a website or free sites like sites.google.com, GitHub, Medium or WordPress. Tip 6. 
Avoid asking for easily accessible information. Do not ask the PI for information that is readily available online, such as admission criteria or the lab's website URL. This shows a lack of initiative and can be seen as unprofessional. Take the time to do your homework. This only means you are lazy to do research and is not very effective. Try to read the frequently asked questions on the site, go through the lab's website in detail, and curate all the questions without necessarily asking questions, whose answers are clearly stated on the website. Tip 7. Personalize your application. Avoid copying and pasting from the lab's website. This is easily spotted and can come off as insincere. Instead, describe your genuine interests and, if applicable, explain why you are considering a switch in research focus. Authenticity is key. Tip 8. Research the lab's work. Familiarize yourself with the lab's research by visiting their website and reading their published papers. Misunderstanding the lab's focus, such as confusing a water ecology lab for a fish research lab, indicates a lack of due diligence. Show that you've done your homework. Tip 9. Do not ask for recommendations from other PIs. Refrain from asking the PI to recommend you to other PIs. This request can appear unprofessional and desperate. Building relationships and networking should be done through appropriate channels and over time. Tip 10. Use proper addressing. When addressing your application, avoid generic salutations like, Dear Madam Teresa, Ensure you address female PIs correctly, and not as sir. Taking the time to find out the correct title and name shows respect and attention to detail. Try to painstakingly learn about the preferred pronoun that the prospective PI wants you to use for him or her. This is very vital in today's graduate college application. Prospective graduate supervisors are very mindful of these. It shows you have done an in-depth research about the lab and your prospective PI. Before we wrap up, here are a few additional tips. 1. Tailor your resume. Customize your resume for each application to highlight the most relevant experiences. 2. Seek feedback. Have someone review your application materials to catch errors you might have missed. 3. Follow up. If you haven't heard back after a reasonable period, a polite follow-up email can show your continued interest. Should you wish to study in Europe on a study-free route, consider clicking the link in the description below. You will be amazed you never knew about such an opportunity. Thanks for watching. If you found these tips helpful, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more career advice. Good luck with your applications and see you next time.